Grandpa Newby reporting for duty with something very important that I think is flying under the radar in the COD community. The Jack Headhunter conversion for the Rival 9. And first let's take a look at the patch notes for Season 4. Jack Headhunter carbine conversion. Increased rate of fire from 682 rounds per minute to 882 rounds per minute. Increased maximum damage from 26 to 33. Increased near medium damage from 24 to 30. Increased minimum damage. And just keep all that in mind because take a look at the screen. Headshot damage is at 60. Six, and we'll get into that in just a second. Then there are a couple of decreased. Ignore that. So how did this fly under the radar? Well, guess what? With a 66 headshot damage, if you can get one shot in the lower or upper torso, in the torso, two shots in the head, this is an insta-kill weapon. Have a look at what I did on the firing range. Now, I know some of you sharp aviation cadets are going to say, but Grandpa, the dummies only have 100 health. Falsio, falsio. If you can believe the patch notes for Season 1, Activision Sledgehammer took care of that. They increased the health on the firing range target dummies to 150. So this is an insta-kill weapon. How hard is it to get through two shots into the head? Well, let's look at the recoil control real quick. 34.6. 77 on the gun kick. That's almost nothing. Horizontal recoil, 9.7 degrees per second, and vertical recoil, a lowly 31.43 degrees per second. You can make that better with your attachments if you want. I don't think that you need it. But let's go back to that damage. Headshot damage, 66, and that's with an effective damage range of 25.4 meters. Things a hit scan. It's going to be an insta kill. And what's the burst delay? 70 mil seconds according to exclusive ace so let's say you don't get two headshots you're going to get a 70 millisecond kill if you just hold down the trigger because though it's a burst weapon you can hold the trigger down and it continues firing bullet velocity is 900 meters per second this thing is awesome you can get people on the run and put them under the ground upper and lower torso 36 36 33 for upper legs pretty good but the rate of fire 882.4 rounds per minute you're getting an smg range there and you say but grandpa it is an smg no it's a carbine conversion so this is more like an assault rifle if you look at the hip fire it's decreased accuracy by 10 percent with the kit but it's still at 2.3 degrees per second it was very accurate if you look at the tax stance 2.7 degrees per second that is pinpoint dot. This is a great weapon to do any tax stance challenge. The mobility is impacted, but look at the numbers. 2%, 5%, 3%. And what does grandpa tell you about red? Don't be afraid of it. At 2%, you won't notice it. Same with 3% and 5%. ADS speed. Oh, it's bad. 8% worse. 202 milliseconds. That's a fast ADS time. But look at the sprint to fire time. 116 milliseconds. You're going to have have this Gakamo machine on somebody's gourd in 116 milliseconds. So let's go to the field of honor and see how this massive beast did for grandpa. I think you really need to consider this immediately because I don't see how they can let that 66 damage to the head stand along with a three round burst that can one shot kill or one burst kill somebody with a hit scan. Anyway, let's go to the field of honor and see what happened. Here's the rest of the configuration. It really doesn't matter. Do it how you want it. Completely your option. Just make sure you have the Jack Headhunter Carbon Kit. Carbine Kit. I don't know how they let this thing out the door. Really, it kind of proves that, oops, that maybe they don't have people testing it or even thinking about it. I mean, this th so throws the weapon balancing off kilter. I mean, this thing is a beast. It is a murder machine. And I mean that in a kind way, of course. 
So uh, one of the other things I did was I tested the footprints. I've never used them before, the pink footprints or purple, whatever that color is, to see if I would like them. And I'm not really sure that I do. I'll probably switch back to what I had before, which is mission control. So on my first free-for-all, a couple of bursts, just hold down the trigger, and the enemies just disappear. I mean, they flat out disappear. That's me coming in and buying the farm. Really didn't want it, but he sold it to me anyway. And you see the headshot there. Headshot is an instagac. I mean, it is amazing. There's another headshot. I was concentrating on aiming a bit high. Aim high, Air Force. Used to be an, an ad. But when I pulled the trigger, the enemy disappeared. Well, not completely. I mean, they were laying at my feet. There's another headshot. 66 damage on the head. How does that get out the door? And the rate of fire, almost 900 rounds per minute. 900 rounds per minute on a very accurate weapon that you can put 50 rounds in. I have 50 rounds in the thing. Another headshot. So 50 rounds, 900 rounds per second, extremely pinpoint accurate. 66 damage to the head, high damage to the lower and upper torso. What am I missing? Hey, what I'm missing is somebody just camped in the corner and I will always come back to visit them. But then Cheech Marin ruins my day. Back in the corner again, there's another headshot. I was so impressed with this, with this weapon. It's going to be a permanent class until they nerf it. Because I, I just used it with my son and his buddies from college and graduated from college pretty good players and they couldn't believe what was going down here I mean it was just kind of too much to explain to them get the jack hut hunter how do I get that well season one I believe week one challenges get five of seven and you have the jackhead hunter and then use the jackhead hunter as much as you can until they nerf it I mean this isn't clickbait in fact I don't even really know how to do clickbait but I've clicked on it a bunch but you can see grandpa's jumping out of his chair there I mean actually I'm falling backwards and I think that was a mosquito drone kill. Snickers win, satisfying first time out. I did play a team deathmatch, I think, small map with this, and it, it just absolutely destroyed the enemy. So my second one, got a classic map. There was somebody out there, but I wasn't going to chow them. Once again, I'm looking for the headshots. Ooh, we're not going to chow that person, but we'll see if we can come around and find them. Somebody's sniping behind the van. Somebody else is trying to gack them, and they did, but I'm going to gack that person. Well, yep, got that person and the person trying to gack them. I mean, the thing puts out rounds. It is fast, 900 rounds a minute roughly. And I couldn't get any rounds in that nice lady, but there she is again. She's Elvis. She's the king. It's highly maneuverable. I mean, they did nothing. Nothing to slow this weapon down. Other than my aim. They counted on me to do it myself. I mean, I haven't been this excited about anything since the VFW, the Veterans of Foreign Wars had triple bingo night on Veterans Day. That was exciting. This is almost as exciting. Show you a little of my technique. Slip sliding away over the map. This was a map where I thought would run out of time because it took me forever 
to find people. I don't know if they were camping or what, but we also had some nice discussions going, especially with that guy there. He denied that was him, but it's hard to, there's the nice lady. Go, my child, do work. Pink, pink footprints led me right to him. There's a cat. Nice little cat. Animal abuse don't turn me in. For Gak the cat. There's a cat again, I think. Kind of missed my, my toss there. Maybe a cat for a third time. So there were definitely people hopping out of the building right in front of me. There were people running around. There were also people that were sticking to the windows and the containers and that sort of thing. I think that's a really cool skin, the Asian guy. I lived in Asia for almost a decade. But one thing about it, the thing is easy to see, and I tend to choose my skins more difficult. Somebody's shooting at me there, but... I took revenge on the guy that gacked him, and there's just somebody in the window. I wasn't even going to look that way, but why not? You got several long shots with this weapon. It is pinpoint accurate, and it is deadly. It is fast, and in the hands of somebody that knows what they're doing, it would be awesome. There's the China Red there, and there's the cat. We just need two more kills. Running out of time. 30 seconds left. And we just stand there pulling the trigger at each other. That was pretty hilarious. So it's a Snickers win. Definitely, definitely get the Jack Headhunter for the Rival 9. Because I don't see how this thing can last. It upsets weapon balance in a major way. Please like and subscribe. Helps me, helps the family. Cheers and peace to you.